The major solar eclipse event across Toledo now just under two weeks away with an influx of people coming into town. This may slow down your cell phone. Dominique O'Neill joins us in studio with details about talking to people and Lucas County Emergency Management. Dominique, what are you hearing? Well, Dan, I spent the day talking to people who reacted to the upcoming once in a lifetime event. Many parts of Toledo will be filled with thousands of people and the majority of the people will likely be on their cell phone and this could potentially impact cell service. Lucas County Emergency Management is encouraging families to have their own emergency plan. Um, so I'm just hoping that I can get there all right uh, and that everything goes okay so that nothing does happen and I'm put in a situation where I have to use um, my cell phone for an emergency. I hope that doesn't happen, but fingers are crossed. While Stephanie Reeves of Oregon, Ohio hopes things go smoothly on April 8th, others are taking a different approach. Um, I'm probably going to try to just stay home if I can, if I can, if I can avoid it. Just I, it is kind of chaotic out and I don't really, it will be chaotic. But for those who will be a part of the viewing crowd, EMA warns cell service can be impacted. Anytime there's a, a high surge or demand for cellular, uh, that can put a little bit of a strain on the network. She recommends these tips on that day. Keep in mind, uh, arrive early, stay late, try to avoid traveling uh, if you don't have to, especially immediately following the eclipse. Uh, pack your patients, fill your gas tank up ahead of time. Other recommendations by EMA include sending text messages instead of voice or video calling. NASA says the solar eclipse can temporarily disrupt radio signals and GPS navigation. EMA says to avoid this, pre-plan your travel routes, and if Wi-Fi internet is available, use other messaging apps like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. And it should also be mentioned that AT&T says it has increased its bandwidth in the last few years on the network. And Verizon says it has also layered its bandwidth, which means basically they expect the network to withstand the surge of demand. Speaking of eclipse, hey, John, how long are we expecting to tally to last in our area? Well, it's only going to be a little less than two minutes for the Toledo Metro, but those hours leading up to the eclipse are going to be filled with lots of anticipation. In the Toledo Metro, one minute and 51 seconds of totality. Cleveland, Ohio is going to be a hot spot for tourists with close to four minutes. Wapakoneta, also close to four minutes. And Dayton, two minutes and 46 seconds. For individual information on your suburb, we've got Maumee in Oregon, a little over two minutes. All this information is online at WTOL.com slash solar eclipse, but you will notice Notice that the southern suburbs, oh, like Rossford and Oregon, are going to see a little bit more of totality than the Toledo Metro across the country. Boy, that stripe goes all the way from Texas up towards Maine. A good chunk of the United States is going to see this total solar eclipse and areas down in Texas and Mexico actually seeing over four minutes of totality. Now, regardless of how long it lasts, it is still going to be the amazing spectacle. It's just going to be a bit more brief and fleeting, so savor it and enjoy it while it is here. There are 31 million Americans in the path of totality and we are now less than two weeks away. We'll continue to keep you updated right here and also online with the latest information as you and your family prepare for the total solar eclipse.